Hey, what's up, sports fans? Oh, what? Boo, what? what? Okay. Hey, what's up, the guys? Boo Tuesday here, bringing you some NHL 15 360 gameplay. We got the Van City Canucks against the. Uh, who really cares? Calgary Flames. Boo, Calgary, boo, you suck. Yesterday was the first game of the season for both teams. It was the first game of the NHL season. I think there was some four games on tonight, or that night. I'm not sure how I feel about the Canucks. They uh, they played well against Calgary, but having a one-goal lead and essentially winning by one goal, even though I know, I know we won by two because of empty net, but you, it's still pretty close for a team that is not expected to do very well. The team itself looked okay. You know, we lost guys like Kessler. But Bonino played pretty well. And the PK, he blocked some shots. He's got some offensive upside to him, but he's... I don't know, he's essentially like a... He seems to me like a third-line center who's kind of been thrust into the spotlight. Nope, that wasn't good. Well, I'll try to talk about players as the situations occur. We got uh, Miller and Nett. Oh, that's icing. Oh, never mind. Miller. Oh, Miller played okay. Uh, didn't really have to stand on his head, so you didn't really notice if he could stand on his head. Which is good, I, I guess. That if the team plays well enough defense that your goalie doesn't have to be the best player on the ice, then it's a good sign. This uh effectively our third line it's Vey, Richardson and oh, Cassian they played okay you know they Cassian scored off Vey and I think Richardson might have gotten an assist I'm not sure on that one oh. it's hard to judge uh It's hard to judge Vey. He's not... He doesn't have enough NHL experience. Similar to... Well, Cassian has more, but he's still... Both of them, you kind of... You don't know if, if they're ready to be second-line center or second-line forwards, if they could be. Like he'd, where, Where's the ceiling for these guys? Richardson, you know what you're getting. You're getting effectively a third-line checker or, at like, outstanding... Fourth line center. This line was awesome. The Sedins and Verbata looked like the Sedins were used to seeing. I don't know. <laughs> they would have done even better had. Oh. Oh, Henrik got his goal. It was in. Uh, a swipe into the empty net, falling down, going feet first into the net, but he'll take it. This line, Matthias, Dorsett, and Hansen, uh, they're okay. They're pretty much... I think they'd be a third line. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, who's fighting here? Oh, Dorsett. Let's go! Nah. Woo! Get out of here. Thought there was going to be a fight last night. The Exa and, uh... The Bullleg? They were chirping pretty good. Get over here. Get over here. Come on. Boom! Boom! Nope. 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 Come on. Nope. There we go. Woo! Hopefully we can see some of that out of Dorset this year. Not sure what to expect with him. I assume he's he's a role player who's gonna just stick on the fourth line. I do let him and Hansen and Matthias. They, they could they could do okay. They don't have to put up points. They just gotta make sure the other team doesn't. Uh, I don't know. Make make some hits. Get some energy. Oh, that was risky. Got 
Fowler over here. Fowler. Spiza. Um, I'm not sure what the Canucks plan with Spiza is. When you go left-handed... Uh-oh. Monaghan. Ooh. When you go left-handed shots for the Canucks um, on the point, you have probably Hamius or Edler as your number one. So you put Hamius number one, Edler number two. And then I'd almost put Sis uh, not Sisito, Stanton as the uh, top six lefty. But Spiza looked okay on the right side with, I think he was paired with Hamius for most of the night. That's, I'm not sure if he's a top four guy, but I definitely like Tanev, and I definitely like Bieksa when he's healthy. You go Edler, Tanev, Bieksa, Hamus. that's a solid, solid top four. And then Stanton and Spiza, or even um, Corrado if he ever heals up. Aww. Edler played decent last night. A little rough. He had a fairly bad turnover. Ooh. End of the first. The Canucks have the lead. Much like last night. Oh, look at those stats. Yeah. By the way, this is Superstar Hardcore. I swear it is. Okay, let's go. Daniel, cutting up the wing. Look for a pass. Hit Henrik. Or not. Oh, eat it, Raymond. Oh. Oh. Hits Daniel. Daniel. Woo! Daniel almost scored on a slap shot like that. Last night, except it was, uh, it was not a breakaway. You see guys take slap shots on breakaways, and you're like, what? Are you serious? But uh, he just went off Hiller's glove and gave him the post. Say it out. Let's go, Burrows. Oh, come on now. Oh, staging. Staging. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, come on. Whoa. Against. Henrik. Oh, Verbata. Oh, up, up to Daniel. Daniel. Jukin. Jot. Nope. Couldn't sift through. Just reading a couple things, and a lot of people are counting the Canucks out already as a playoff team. One game in. I think they'll finish. I think fourth in the conference, but the uh, fourth in the division, and then someone else will come and take the the wild card spot. Oh, Edler! I'm not 100 percent sure how these uh, conferences work. Actually, I, I, the old style, I guess, was pretty broken with the top three division winners or top three. Yeah, well the teams in each division with the most amount of points automatically making the playoffs or being at least first three it's kind of broken when you see teams that have that would be in like seventh or eighth but they're in third just because of how crappy their division is anyways getting back to the game the Canucks had very solid penalty killing last night even with that five on three I know Calgary didn't look actually that great with all their uh, left-handed shooters. But I think it was like a minute 40 or something, five or maybe it was o over a minute anyways. But they, I don't know how many shots they had, but it wasn't a lot. They had a couple cross-crease tap-ins that they missed. But it's, it wasn't, wasn't that great. You can't do that, Hiller. Let's see this again. I don't know if I've ever had a breakaway or a 
interception off a goalie stick like that for. Oh, he passed it right to me. <laughs> Personally, I do think Montreal, Montreal, the Canucks will make the playoffs. I do think Montreal will make the playoffs too. But I, I think the Canucks will. As long as the Sedins can play like that, they don't have to put up points. But as as long as they play like 15, I think they played like 18 minutes or something last night. But if they keep most of their shifts in the offensive zone, I think even if like they don't even have to put up points, but as long as the other teams are putting up points, those scenes are out there. That's what you need. You just need you don't all four of your lines don't need to score. They just need to make sure they don't get scored on. Oh, easy, easy, Miller. Oh, they. Off the boards, off the bench. Oh, they. Uh, I don't know what to expect from they. No, he had an assist last night. Oh, easy for Bata. Easy money. Not nowhere near as nice as Baden. I definitely thought that Baden wasn't going to be a goal. When you look at the fact that the ref called it off immediately, those never get overturned because you need quote-unquote conclusive evidence to support that one. I think the deciding factor was the ref cam, though. Those ref cams are pretty sweet. Oh, he died! Is that Lance Boma? Who's 17? Oh! That's like a cross-check from behind. Here we go, Bay. Here we go, Bay. Big face off. Ah, you suck. Oh, let's get dump it in. Whatever. Pass. Pass. Break out. Let's go, Cassian. Scored a goal last night. Oh, good try. You gotta hear speed. Smeed. Whatever your name is. Oh, BX was gonna crush him. Juice. I didn't think Juice was going to play uh, that, uh, I think they said upper body, it might be lower body, for all, uh, for his body injury, we'll just stick with that. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on now, give me an option here. Oh, oh. Give me the outside, there you go, Adler. Yep, yep. Yep. Oh, it looks like how the Sedins actually pass. Oh. Well, let's get the cycle game going. Oh. The two unfamiliar. They're taking each other out. Used to his Phoenix days. Oh, that was a nice play. AI set me up right there. Jesus. <laughs> Made me look like a fool. Come well, on, Show people that you're a second line center. Show everyone that it wasn't just Corey Perry and Ryan Getz left that gave you all them points. Be your own player. Or not. Yeah, let's go. Let, oh, look out. Let's go, Benino. Oh, Nino. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Hamwees? That's what I thought. Come on, Burroughs. Show people that you don't need the Sedins. Well, that's how you do it. Sniffing all day. I'm pretty sure even GM mode has not listed as a third line score. Hey, Burroughs from Hamus. That's how it's done. Just like real life. Except, uh, it was on the power play and it was a deflection. But, you know, close enough. One other. No blind backhand passes. Oh, yeah, Richardson. Oh, Cassian, Cassian, Cassian. Oh, play the body. Or do that. Play the body. Oh. It'll be interesting to see. Ooh. Get it up. 
it'll be interesting to see where Bo Horvat slots in once he's back. Ah. I, I, they, I, they want to play him as a center. And I assume they'll be okay with playing him on the fourth line when you consider that our fourth line really isn't even a fourth line. When you look at Hansen and Matthias, they're kind of, they're listed as, yeah, fourth liners because that's, oh, McGratton, because it is our fourth line. But those players are skilled enough. Well, I don't know about Dorsett, but Hansen has been a, a third liner for as long as I can remember. And same with, oh, 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 and uh, Matthias was our second line center for a bit when Henrik was hurt, and then we have Kessler up, so, you know, what, what, like, I don't know what to expect here. Look at guys who were scratched, on the offensive side anyways, oh, you got Horvat, well, scratch or didn't play, you got Horvat. And Sacito. Sacito will probably only play in games where other people have their tough guys, which apparently doesn't seem to be a trend anymore. Seems like everyone's getting rid of their tough guys. That seems to be the trend. Look at Toronto waving two of their bigger guns. Oh! Whoa! Nice hit. Come on, Higgins. Oh, ho, ho. Uh oh. Getting a little greedy. Let's visa. Ooh. Boom. Get back, get back, get back. Uh-oh. 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 That boy. Oh, speaking of Hansen. Damn it. Matthias, just kill him. Oh, that boy. He tried. Hansen, get depth forward to you. Aw. Oh. oh, Miller, if you didn't make that save, you would have had a power play, man. Ah, it's okay. Canucks prevail, 5-1. Pretty close to the real score, which was 4? No, was it 5-1? Something I should know, eh? I think the final score was 5-3. I, I want to know now. I gotta look this up. Oh, it was 4-2. Never mind. Well, take one goal off me and give it to Calgary. 4-2. First goal scored, Burroughs. It's a pretty nice tip. I like that we finally got something going on the power play. I know we didn't score on the other chance that we had that game on the power play, but it's pretty good. Cassian's goal is what you want to see from him. He's He's got a nice shot, and he's, he's pretty fast for his size, but he's going to be the best when he's working down low in front of the and in front of the net and really using his body and his size. We got for Bada's goal, just a nice nice deflection well not even deflection, nice bat? I don't know. I thought for sure it was gonna be waved off like I mentioned earlier. And Henrik Sedin was probably one of the nicest empty net goals I've ever seen. Well, hopefully the Canucks can continue this trend and maybe Return to the playoffs. Back to the promised land. Back to where you once belong. Back to... You know that song. Anyways, I'm out of time. That's Bootoozy, and I hope you like this new series. Peace out!